What is Melarus? Let's start off by spelling it. M-E-L-L-O slash R-O-O-S. Melarus. Now what the hell is Melarus? Those of you who have never heard it, I'm going to try to explain this as clearly as possible. And that's a rather simple concept. Ready? Melarus. Melarus is an additional tax on a property aside from the property tax. You with me? Let me cut it down. Break it down. Ready? Here we go. You got a buyer. Yeah, you got a buyer who wants to buy a house. They're very excited. You're going to take care of them. They're going to go find a house. You find them a house. Now, of course, here in California, everybody has to pay what? Property taxes. You with me? And property taxes, nice and simple. Let's assume they buy a house for a million dollars. Property taxes typically are, of course, based on the value of the property. You with me? Easy. House for a million dollars. Your taxes on that house, your property taxes, stick with me, that's the key word here. Your property taxes on this house will be based on the value of the house. Not a big deal. That's what we call ad valorem. Push that aside. So you get your property taxes like everybody does. Now some communities are brand new. Some communities are brand new or rather new. We'll assume it's on five years new, maybe 10 years new. And these communities may have, ready? Melarus. Now, Melarus is what we call an additional tax. It's an additional special assessment. So it's a tax on top of the tax. Now, who the hell would want to pay additional taxes? Well, that's where Melarus comes in. Now, what happens is this. When these communities, when these little districts were first built, these little districts needed their own fire station, their own schools, right? Their own, I don't know, roadways. So, of course, they were going to have, of course, this district, this community pay for it. How? They pay for it as a bond. And these bonds typically last, I don't know, 20 years, maybe 30 years. Some can go as long as 40 years. But let's just go to the average of 20 years. So these additional taxes are being paid year after year after year by the people who live in this little district. You with me? Until the 20th year. And once that 20th year is here and it arrives, hallelujah. For example, think of an airplane, right? You get on an airplane, you're gonna travel, you wanna be comfortable, right? So you get on the airplane, you're okay, you're comfortable, you got people next to you, your elbow room isn't the best, but you get to your destination, right? You get there. Or you could pay a little extra, pay the Melarus and beware. Yeah, first class, you with me? Be up front where it's a lot more comfortable. I don't know, they might offer you, I don't know, a, a better snacks. They might offer you, I don't know, a better service. They might offer you a, a better bunch of other stuff. Because with Melarus, don't forget, because with Melarus, you do get additional services. You do get additional items. Like we discussed, you get new schools, new roads, new police departments, new fire stations, all that good stuff. So that being said, you have to ask yourself, as a buyer, are you willing to pay that extra Melarus to live in a district that's slightly more new and has more things to offer? Now most people will say, hell no, I don't want to live in there, just too much taxes. You want me to pay taxes on top of taxes? Find me into the house. I'm going to tell you that some people are willing to pay the Melarus if you put them in a more exclusive area. A district that, you know, is more well taken care of, uh, more modern, and it's more concentrated for this particular area. You with me? Hope that makes sense to you. So now why is this important for you as a realtor? I'll tell you why, ready? Here it goes. Let's assume you get a buyer and the buyer says, go find me a house for a million bucks because the lender said they could buy a house for a million bucks because the lender said they can afford a payment of $5,000. You with me? And a house for a million bucks is $5,000, example. So you find him a house, yay, the guy's excited, the buyer's excited to say, I'm so glad you found me this house, oh my God, I love it. The payment's 5,000 bucks, they're max. The payment is 5,000 bucks, the max the lender said they could buy, that they are approved for. But then you find out that it has Melarus. So that $5,000 payment now goes up to, I don't know, maybe $6,000, which is beyond what they can afford. Are you with me? So they now no longer qualify for this house because that Dargon Melarus tipped the scale. Are you with me? Adding that Melarus tip the scale to where the buyer no longer can afford this property in this location. Why? Because it has Melarus. So it's important to you as a real estate agent to make sure that when you're showing properties that you understand what Melarus is because if this property does have Melarus that you're showing, buyer may not qualify. Now how do you find out if a house has Melarus? Simple. We told you before. You contact your best title rep and say, hey, I got an address here for you. I'm going to show it tomorrow. 54321 Main Street. Can you let me know if it has Melarus? It's all public records. And if it does, make your adjustments when you're showing these houses or making those offers. Hope this helps, huh? Hey, have a fantastic day. If you have any questions or the topics you want us to touch, leave it down below. Have a great day.